Good morning. Do you feel overwhelmed by problems? Jesus can help. We're going to look today at Mark chapter 3, verses 7 to 12. Let's read it, and then we'll see what help we find here. Jesus withdrew with his disciples to the sea, and a great multitude from Galilee followed him and from Judea, and Jerusalem and Idumea and beyond the Jordan. And those from Tyre and Sidon, a great multitude, when they heard how many things he was doing, came to him. So he told his disciples that a small boat should be kept ready for him because of the multitude, lest they should crush him. For he healed many, so that as many as had afflictions pressed about him to touch him. And the unclean spirits, whenever they saw him, fell down before him and cried out, saying, You are the Son of God. But he sternly warned them that they should not make him known. You know, we need to be determined to come to Jesus. There's going to be many things that will get in the way. And the devils here, we see people are just coming from every side. They're coming to Jesus because they've heard of the wonderful healings and the beautiful things that are happening. But, but we also see that it, it very, uh, all around at various occasions, the devils are coming up and, and they're interfering and they're trying to get a word in edgewise and represent themselves as, uh, as knowing who Jesus is and, and basically distracting people from the good work that Jesus is doing. And they do know who he is. They were thrown out of heaven by him when they chose rebellion. What we have here though is we must be determined to come to Jesus because the devils are going to try to distract us. We've got to be determined to come to him. They're going to try to keep us from him and it's very important that we uh, push through and we don't allow ourselves to be distracted by, by different events in our life, by different things that, that the devils will try to do to distract us. Even even to the very point of in a worship service trying to distract us. So God has help for us and we want to be able to receive the blessings that Jesus has. Jesus does have help for us, but we're going to have to be very determined to receive that help because the devils are going to do everything they can to make our life have so much confusion that if they can, they'll, they'll just cave the ceiling in on us and we'll feel stuck and lost. So don't let that happen. Don't let the devils prevail. Don't give the devils a good day. Uh, give the angels in heaven a good day. Jesus will be with us. Hey, let's have a word of prayer together. Dear Father in heaven, we thank you for your goodness to us. Not that we deserve it, but it's your gracious uh, gift, your gracious spirit and attitude that you want us to, to draw close to you. And you want us to push through the distraction. You've equipped us with what we need to push through that distraction, Lord. You've given us the Bible. You give us your Holy Spirit, your Bible promises. So, Lord, we thank you, and we just pray you'll be with us. Bless us when we feel crushed and stuck. Uh, help us to push through to the, other, to the other side. Thank you for hearing our prayer, Lord. In your strength, we will prevail. In Jesus' name, amen. That's the plan. Push on through and prevail. We're going to make it. How, a question, how do you overcome roadblocks uh, to your spiritual walk? If you have something to share with our group or online community here, just, just add a comment down below and we'll look at that. I'd like to hear what you have to say. God be with you.